beautiful people we are about to get into steve harvey on the donald trump visit let's check it out steve harvey one of my favorite comedians. president obama's transition team i was getting off a plane one day my assistant called and said steve is president obama's transition team president obama and i were friends i've interviewed him he's been on my talk show i've been to the white house and interviewed him he's been on my radio show more than anybody's show I go to their parties. We friends. So his transition team called me uh, around the 9th of January and said, Steve, the president feels like it's important that we sit down and have a conversation with this new administration to see if there's something we can work out. Not President Obama, just his transition team from the White House. I said, OK, cool. Next thing I know, the Trump administration transition team gets in touch with the Obama transition team, my name come up. So on Jeff, January 13th, they asked me to come to Trump Towers to meet with Donald Trump. Now, the hell I caught. <laughs> One thing I love about comedians is when you know based on a posture they about to say something hilarious <clears throat> the sheer misery for making that decision i've been so many coons uncle tom sellouts i, I was stunned I mean, the brutality of what happened to me on social media behind visiting that man in Trump Towers, it was alarming. But I'm sitting up in here and I'm trying to figure out, because you don't know, so since you don't know, here come the hate. Uncle Tom, sellout, coon, Steve Harvey, shoe shining, celebrity friends I thought I was really cool with. Coming out talking about mm -hmm. he ought to know better. Who, what the hell wrong with him? Whoa, 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 whoa. If President Obama, the current president, and the incoming president say they want to talk to you, which one of you ain't going up there? Comment below right now. If you were invited, if you was in his position, not if you were him, if you were yourself in his position and you were invited, would you go and what would you say let me know below just raise your hand if you wouldn't go so i can see how stupid you are <laughs> now just go ahead i just want this one see this is what i be really wanting to say so i can't say none of this in front of another group but since it's us in here <laughs> oh i've been wanting to say this since january 13th you better believe this right here i've been waiting on the right crowd well, I'm in front of a bunch of friends right now. So see, I can say this, because I'm around a bunch of friends. You understand? Friendship is essential to the soul. You can live without your father. You can live without a relative. You can make it without your mama. You can't live in this world without a friend. Friendship is essential to the soul. Ophelima filia sucus. That friendship is essential to the soul. Okay. Yeah, I've been waiting on this. I'm glad Ricky Lewis asked me to come. <laughs> so, I go up there. President Trump did not know why I was there but he was accommodating. I'm gonna give the man this. The man was very congenial. As we said that, we talked about golf. I played golf at his golf courses a lot. I don't play well, but I play. We talked about that. He's really congenial. And we're sitting there, he thought that since we shared a common friend, Mark Burnett, Mark Burnett produced Apprentice and Mark Burnett produces my new show, Steve Harvey's Thunderdome. Mm. That I was there to talk about possibly doing some type of program. I said, No, sir, I'm not. So it got around to it after 25 minutes of talking. He said, So, Steve, what can I do for you? 
Mm. Now, I had thought of what I would say when I got up there. So I said, well, there's really nothing I want you to do for me. I said, I want to do something for you. And he said, President Trump said, you want to help me? Mm. I said, yeah. I said, if you've appointed Dr. Ben Carson, the head of HUD, and I would like to help him because I don't think he has the um, <laughs> celebrity or the name notoriety to get to these inner cities. I've been in inner cities my whole life. I got the key to 32 cities. I've been in stand up a long Jeez. time. I said, I can help him with some of these urban situations because I'm from there and I want to do something to help him. He said, so what do you want to do? I said, well, I have a mentoring program, but my mentoring program is restrictive because I can only do about a thousand boys and I can do them only one time a year in each city. I want to create vision centers around the country where I can take these schools that you're closing in the inner cities, take HUD funds, put it with them, and then go in and refurbish these schools and buildings and turn them into a place where boys and girls can come and learn life skills and parents can come and learn financial skills, literacy skills mm -hmm. to make it. And then eventually, I would like to vi build vision homes around it to help support these communities so we have wonderful community. I want people who are less fortunate to have a better way of life. He said, I like that. Let me get Ben Carson on the phone right now. I kid you not, in two minutes, he had Ben Carson on the phone. What y'all got to say about that? You understand? Sometimes it's all about being in a room and being yourself when you get up in there. You understand me? He put Ben Carson on the phone, and he and I started talking, and I introduced the concept to him of Vision Homes right there in the office. He said it's a done deal. I've since then that, that well, the problem I had was after the meeting was over, I was supposed to go downstairs by myself and go on over to the rope and address the media. President Trump said, Steve, I'm gonna go down with you. All right. <laughs> we get off the elevator, we walk up to the rope, all the cameras is on, and first thing he said. What we're going to do first thing in this office is replace and repeal Obamacare. I'm standing there, I went. Set up. <laughs> look at the tape. Go back and look at the tape and look at Steve's face. Because I'm going, there ain't shit we said upstairs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, that's not what we said upstairs. But I was stern, and I'm sitting here going like I'm supporting this here. I ain't said nothing like that. So then when he walked off, I was standing there with Greg Calhoun, another <laughs> frat brother, and... Wait, did he just walk off? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Gerald Washington, a new... Oh, Crump, what's up, man? That's my man right there. You a bad boy. Man, that's my man right there. I'm sorry, I'm a fan of his. Uh, Benjamin Crump, attorney. So I'm sitting here, and I walk up to the media, and I go, I'm just messed up because, man, it just looked like, and then next thing you know, all over social media, Steve supports Trump, repeal and replace Obamacare. I ain't, we ain't never even talk about Obamacare, but that's what God said. And then after that, oh, y'all, oh, 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 y'all did your boy. Oh, oh, it wasn't white folk, it was y'all. Exactly, every time. Yeah, uh, this is you, uh, now this wasn't a black, this was, this was an internal. White folk don't even know what Uncle Tom Coon is. Y'all was doing this here. Oh, you was doing your boy. To hell with my track record. Damn what I done done in the past. You ain't sugar honey iced tea right now. I cleaned that up, see how I did that. 
I didn't want to, though. I wanted to go ahead and fire another one off, but I figured I had got too many in. You ain't sugar, honey, iced tea no more. Ooh, I don't like saying that. <laughs> you got a little Steve Harvey, man. Black people took to social media, and boy. Black Twitter. All my family had to close their accounts down because y'all was just lacy. Not y'all per se. Most of y'all don't even, none of you. Hardly any of you blog, but I'm just talking about art. And this went to, because we, I don't know why we love destroying each other. I don't know why we take such pleasure in when he, he gone. You know, I was talking to Kevin Hart the other day when he went through that whole thing about the girl. Kevin Hart said, man, it's amazing how they cheer for you on the way up. Because mm -hmm. they love a success story. But then once you get there, their whole mission is to bring you down. And they was just on that social media just lacing me, man. Like, I don't do nothing for black folk. Like, I just ain't been black this whole time. <laughs> what the hell you gonna call me a Uncle Tom, a coon, and a sellout? I'm 60 years old. You know what I done seen? I seen what everybody in this room that's 60 done seen. I done felt what everybody in this room done felt. How they gonna call you Uncle Tom and a coon? Cause you're at the top of the corporate ladder. Now some black person ain't got nothing wanna sit up and call you an Uncle Tom and a coon cause you done bet it yourself. Ain't that about la -de da You be wanting to go, man, I wish, you know man, you be wanting to say something. But you know what though? You can't say nothing. Cause my grandmama taught me something long time ago. If you hang a sheet out on the line and you get some doo-doo on it, don't wipe it cause you ain't gonna do nothing but smear it. Mm -hmm. She say, just wait till it dry. It'll fall right off. Mm. Mm. So I'm trying to tell you, I caught chills. I caught chills. Like, I'll be looking at the camera up here and that ain't even on. I caught chills when he said that. This right here um, is just the epitome of transitions of, you know, coming out of one ladder or, or coming out of one ram going into another um like he said what kevin hart said being at the top and um all of the stuff you have to deal with uh when being up there um we've seen it happen multiple times uh ti nick cannon um yeah we've seen it happen multiple times man um but yeah we definitely got to support each other more um, we say it all the time. Does it happen? No. Does other races support each other more than we support each other? Yes. Um, but, you know, we can only be a light to who we can be a light to. You know what I'm saying? Change one at a time. That's the best that uh, we could do. Or that's the, that's the place where we could start with the right information, though. With the right information. A lot of us be misled, you know? Not necessarily our fault. On the reason that we've been brainwashed, it's, a, it's, it's, it's our duty to learn the truth. <clears throat> when they kept on trying to, I just shut my mouth. I stayed quiet because I knew I had a purpose. Now, Brother Blue went with me to the first meeting with uh, Dr. Benjamin, I mean, Dr. Uh, ben Carson at HUD. We have started an initiative. The first one will open in Detroit because that's where Dr. Ben Carson is from. Okay. The vision centers have been okayed by the White House all because I took a step and went up there and said it. Exactly. I didn't even come up with the vision center concept to the night before. To the night before. I just told God, I asked God, man, just tell me what to say when I get up there. Because what am I supposed to say? Exactly. I don't even know what to say. What do I say to Donald Trump? I told him when we were sitting there. I said, look, man, I ain't vote for you. <laughs> and I say, I put my whole radio show behind trying not to get you elected. Mm -hmm. I said, but that was a mistake got made. I said, we was playing checkers and y'all was playing chess. Mm -hmm. So congratulations on your win. Man, if only we we gotta find we gotta find the whole thing to that. I need to hear the rest of it. You feel me? I feel like they cut that off too early. You understand? Um, I am your girl V Coop. Down piece in the V Coop to be exact. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff because you are on, here on Coop Troop Live, my brand new channel. You feel me? So let's keep running those subs, keep running those views up, 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 up and away. All right. Thank you for joining. See you next time.